Okay, mtu wa tayari mniambie tuko tayari. You are good. You are good. Sasa so, um we'll go fast in English. Uh, so uh welcome ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh this is a press statement uh, release uh, from the county government of Kiambu. I'm Kimani Matangi the governor. And the press statement is on the ongoing strike by doctors and other health workers. Uh, members of the press, colleagues, and Kambu residents and Kenyans at large. As we all know, there has been an ongoing nationwide doctor strike called by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union, KPMDU, and that has now that has now entered the fourth week. Since then, other health cadres, namely clinical officers and laboratory technologists have commenced strikes declared by their respective trade unions, that is the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers and the Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officers, KNUMLO. The industrial action and subsequent withdrawal of services by these cadres of staff has been attributed to the alleged non-implementation of the collective bargaining agreements. CBS by the government alongside other demands put forward by the unions. It is quite saddening and unfortunate that Kiambu residents and Kenyans at large continue to suffer from the unjustifiable withdrawal of critical health services by doctors, clinical officers, and laboratory technologists. As concerns the ongoing strike by medical doctors and specialists, the county government of Kiambu, under my leadership, wishes to set the record straight and address misrepresentations by KMPDU on the status of implementation of the disputed areas of the strike. Number one is on the promotion of eligible doctors. The county government of Kiambu has continuously promoted doctors and when their promotions fall due and in line with the laid down regulations, procedures and available resources. Indeed, under my tenure in office, with effect from the 1st of March 2023, I promoted 770 health workers. This included 102 doctors, 23 consultants and specialists, 391 nurses, 64 public health officers, 66 support staff, and 22 nutritionists, 49 clinical officers, and 38 medical laboratory uh, workers, and 15 pharmaceutical technologists. All these uh, workers within the healthcare uh, sector were promoted by my government, by myself, 
as from March 2023. These promotions were done and translated to a cost of Kenya shillings 150 million per year to our payroll. This money we have continued to pay up to today, today uh, to all those that were promoted. Number two is on the provision of comprehensive medical cover. All our county workers, including 302 doctors and consultants, are, en are enrolled into a comprehensive medical insurance cover fully procured, contracted, and funded by the county government. On the training of doctors, the county has on continuous basis granted postgraduate course approvals, study leave, and released medical officers for training in various specialty areas. We have currently 39 officers, medical officers, undertaking master's degree, degrees in various universities, locally and abroad, and who still draw a full salary from our county government. On the matter of salary delays and remittance of statutory deductions, under my tenure as the governor of Kiambu, and arising from prudent cash flow management, we have month by month ensured that all staff salaries, statutory deductions, and the applicable third-party deductions to banks, circles, among others, are paid to the staff bank accounts and to respective payees by the fifth day of every month. For the record, we have never had a salary delay. In the last one and a half years, even when there has been delays either in exchequer releases or other factors, and this I want to emphasize, that there has never been any single month in the entire of one and a half years when I've been in office, when there was a single salary delay for any month, um, our salaries or deductions are paid in time. On the question of provision of uh, house mortgage and car loan schemes, as a government, we are cognizant that our employees have over the years looked forward to a house mortgage and car loan scheme. My government is already considering a proposal to set aside necessary funds through the budget process aimed at operationalizing these schemes as guided by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and, and therefore this is work in progress. So ladies and gentlemen, on the 15th of March 2024, I personally chaired a meeting in this boardroom with my leadership, with the leadership of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union, Kiambu branch, specifically to address the issues raised in their memorandum and to persuade the union to, to suspend the strike and ensure continuity of service, services in the healthcare sector in all our county health facilities. The meeting took stock of the above issues and appreciated that as a county government, we have made significant progress on the implementation of the 2017-2021 CBS. Our plea to the union to ensure continuity of services was unfortunately disregarded therefore causing unnecessary suffering by, to the residents of Kiambu and other Kenyans from neighboring counties who seek treatment in our healthcare facilities. Further, despite the efforts made by the national government, the doctors' union has rejected the government's offers on the contested CBA matters that fall within the ambit of the national government, notably on deployment and payment of trainee doctors on internship. As a county government, and taking cognizance that provisions and delivery of healthcare services to a large extent is a devolved function, we therefore wish to pronounce ourselves as follows that the county government of Kiambu calls upon all doctors and consultants and specialists, clinical officers, and laboratory technology technicians currently on strike to immediately report back duty in compliance with the court orders, failure to which the county will have no option 
but to implement the applicable disciplinary procedures provided under employment and labor laws and regulations. The country government of Kiambu will not process and pay salaries to any health worker who is absent from duty without lawful cause. And three, the leadership and, and management of the Department of Health Services is hereby required to apply the relevant administrative processes, namely strict supervision, among others, to ensure attendance to duty by all staff and full resumption of all health services in our facilities with immediate effect. The Health Services de Department to commence the disciplinary process and to recover any monies that may have been paid to any doctors, clinic officers, and laboratory technologists that fail to resume duty and have not been working. And the County Public Service Board is hereby requested to commence recruitment and advertise vacancies for positions of medical officers and specialists and consultants, among other health services personnel inclusive clinic officers and laboratory technicians to provide services to the citizens of Kiambu and other Kenyans. That the county government of Kiambu shall with immediate effect seize third party deductions from staff salaries for remittances for membership subscriptions on behalf of trade unions, namely KMPDU, KUKO, KNUMLO, until further notice. And number seven, while a number of doctors are on, straight, or on strike, a good number of doctors have decided to respect the law and are currently working. We would like to commend those doctors and to urge all other remaining doctors to respect their call to duty and responsibilities to their employer as per their employment contract. We are glad to report that health services in level two and three facilities are fully operational and we would like to thank the nurses and other health care providers who have continued to offer services to citizens including outpatient services in level four and level five facilities. We are in support of the efforts by the whole of the nation approach committee chaired by the chief of staff and the head of public service and we are confident that there shall be a sustainable solution on the disputes in the Kenyan health sector. So, eh, kwa ufupi nataka ni seme tu eh, kwamba sisi kama serikali ya kiambu tumeamua kulingana na vile mumesikia ni mesoma hapa kwenye hii habari na hii press statement ya kwamba sisi kama serikali ya county tumejitahidi sana kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumesuluhisha huu mgogoro kwa vile watu wetu hapa kaunti ya Kiambu wanafaa na wanahitaji kukua na huduma inayofaa kwenye tengo la afya lakini isipokuwa tumejaribu na vile nilivyosema tarehe 